hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming so in earlier videos we have seen extensively how to create baseline flag and baseline variables in this video we will see how to exactly create a macro for baseline flagging and populating related baseline variables like base and base C in Adam data sets so the overall flow of the baseline flag and baseline variable derivation is the first we'll subset the qualifying record say for example if the definition of baseline is the last record on or prior to the treatment start date so we'll have to subset all the records which are on or prior to treatment start so that is meant by subsetting uh, qualifying records and after that after that so we need to pick the required record so there can be one or more than one record with the uh, which qualify for baseline period so out of which we will have to pick the required record so for example if we say if we have to pick the latest record as the baseline so then we'll have to use pick that latest record out of one or more than one qualifying records and then we'll have to populate the ablfl as y on that record and then use the values present on that variable say for example if uh, the eval present on the record which is chosen as baseline would become base for that subject and parameter and similarly the result present on uh, eval c variable on that particular record would become base c for all the records of that subject and parameter so in the next step we do that populating baseline variables using the results from baseline record on all the records of a subject and parameter so we are naming the macro as adam create ablfl and underscore base words so both ablfl and baseline variables are being populated the name of the macro variables are the first one is in dsn so which is used to name the uh, which is used to specify the name of the input data set that will be used as macro uh, input for this create baseline flag macro and our dsn is the is used to specify the name of the output data set and then filter condition so the filter condition to use in a where statement to select qualifying records for baseline so we have seen that so we'll have to subset the qualifying records so for that we need a filter condition so that filter condition is being uh, provided in a macro parameter called filter condition and then by vars so this is used to specify the list of variables to be used in sorting the records based on baseline flag definition such that the required record comes at the end say for example so if we have to pick the latest record uh, within the qualifying records for a subject and parameter we need to sort the records in a specific way so that can be achieved by uh, sorting the data set and for that we need a specific set of variables to be used on the by statement that list of variables would be provided on the by var statement and then we have a parameter called last dot to specify the name of the variable to use in an if statement with the last dot variable construct of sas so as in order to pick the last record for a subject and parameter after sorting the records based on subject u sub jd uh, u sub jd and param cd and along with that additional variables of date and other things so we'll have to pick the last record for each parameter in that case we'll have to specify this value as last dot param cd so we'll specify that param cd on the last dot parameter and then we have a parameter called source vars so this is used to specify the list of variables whose values have to be used as baseline values say for example the value present in eval variable on the record where ablfl is equal to y will become base so and similarly eval c would become base c so we will identify that list of variables as source vars in this source vars parameter and the associated parallel variables which will be used for populating the baseline values is kept in the base vars parameter so eval will pass like this will be a one to one relationship if we are specifying eval here on the source var so the associated parallel variable has to be mentioned on the base var so which is base so for example if we have eval base and then anrind if we are capturing it as bnrind uh, as the baseline value so we'll have to specify anrind on the source vars and on the parallel position we'll have to specify pnrind on the base vars and then uh, we have created a macro to convert uh, sdtm iso dtc values to numeric datetime values 
so we will be making use of that macro to convert our character dates to numeric dates in this so we'll now go to the programming and then see how this works so here we are taking the example of vital signs data set as a, uh, input so let me fetch my input data set into my work library so i'm executing a piece of code that fetches me the data available in a file into my SAS session. So let us open the vital science data set and see how it looks like. So this I have uh, kept the input data set with some pre-processed information such as param CD, param uh, VSDTC, eval, TRT, SDT and ANR, IND. So we, uh, for, like, I'm also assuming that the definition of the baseline is the last record on or prior to treatment start date. So we will first try to make use of our add a make date time macro to convert VSDTC into numeric date and then proceed with baseline definition uh, derivation manually first. So with open SAS code and then we'll try to convert that uh, code into macro and then use that macro to derive the baseline flag and baseline variables and compare with the data set which we have generated using open SAS code. So we'll run this piece of code. So basically this piece of code is creating our ADT variable using add a make date time macro, which we have created earlier. So I have run this piece of code, examine the log and there are no unwanted nodes or law errors or warning. So let's open the data set and see if it is derived properly. Yep, we have now ADT variable added to our data set based on VSDTC. So 3rd Jan, so 3rd Jan and 4th Jan, 5th Jan, 6th Jan and so on. So we have ADT created. After that, the baseline flag derivation would start. So the first step is to select the qualifying records or the eligible records. So here we are selecting the records which are having a date and that date is less than or is equal to treatment start date which qualifies for that definition of on or prior to treatment start date and a non-missing result so the, both the parameters which i have in my vital signs are of numeric uh, results so i am just filtering for all the records where eval is not is equal to missing so if you have both parameters which contain like numeric result and character results you may have to tweak this filter condition to use if eval not is equal to missing or eval c not is equal to missing and i am storing that set of records in base 01 data set so let's run this code and then see how this works so the log is clean and out of eight records so four records were uh, are being considered as eligible records for con uh, considering as for baseline flagging so there are four observations so let's open base 01 and see so we now got like for uh, two records for diabetes and two records for systolic blood pressure so now out of these two records we need to select the latest record so that can be achieved by first sorting the records uh, we have already ensured that sorting order is met within this proc sort so based on this sort within a subject and parameter when we use ascending ADT so the record with the closest date or uh, the latest date would come at the end so here in the next step what we are doing is filtering that record which is the latest record on our prior to treatment start date so we have ensured in this sorting that uh, the latest record comes at the end and then filtering the latest record per subject and parameter so with this and then we are assigning the value of y to ablfl so because we are selecting one record per subject here that record is actually the baseline record so on that record we are actually assigning the value of y is equal to y to the ablfl variable and then we are also creating a set of variables called base to store the result uh, variable eval on this record which is baseline as base and then we are also creating a variable called base dt and storing the value from ADT. So this can be used in downstream processing for comparison when you are trying to populate change or percentage change from baseline only on the post baseline records. So and again so we are we want to store the value present in ANR IND on the baseline record and populate it as BNR IND on subsequent records or all the records of that subject and parameter. So I am creating a variable called BNR IND on this set of records. So let us try to run this piece of code and see. 
so here the data we had was only for one subject but two for two different parameters so we are expecting one record per parameter here which is the latest record before the treatment started so let's open base 02 and then take a look at this one so we now have identified the subject uh, baseline record and then we have also created variables called base base dt and bnrind so now we will have to populate ablfly in the parent data set this uh, this is a subset rec uh, data so which are actually our baseline records but we will have to use this information to populate uh, two things one ablfly on the record where for for the object 1001 on the param cd dia bp we need to populate it as y on adt 5th jan 2010 and similarly we'll have to populate base base dt and bnr ind on all the records in the input data where subject is equal to 1001 and dia bp at parameter level so which means all the records of the subject 1001 and dia bp will have base value of 85 and all the records and similarly base dt and bnr ind so it needs two different levels of merges because for ablfl it has to be on the specific date which is being considered as baseline right but for base base dt and bnr ind it has to be at subject and param cd level so we will use two different merges for this so let's come back to the code and then see how we are populating our baseline flag so again we are sorting our records input data set records based on subject id param cd and date and then merging our base 02 at subject param cd and adt level so that we will be flagging ablfl or fetching the ablfl variable onto the specific record which was chosen as baseline or which was uh, being considered as baseline so and we are again making sure that we are not keeping base uh, base dt and bnr ind here because those variables have to be populated at subject and param cd level only ablfl has to be populated at subject param cd and date so let us now run this piece of code and then see what is happening in our vs01 so let us examine the log and there are no unwanted notes or uh, log error messages or warning messages let's open now so we now have our ablfl populated on the specific date which was uh, record which was being considered as baseline as per the derivation logic so we have now identified that and the next step is to populate base base dt and bnr ind on all the records of that subject and parameter so again here we are we were using base 02 in for flagging ablfl but at adt level but here for populating base dt base and bnr ind we are populating it at subject and param cd level so all the records which share the same subject id and param cd will have the values from base 0 to populated on all the records so again here we are making sure that we are not keeping ablfl so we are populating it at subject and param cd level we should not keep ablfl so if we also carry forward or keep ablfl variable here so ablfl would be populated on all the records so which is not correct So I am running my this step which is creating a data set called VS02. So VS02 let's open and see what is happening. So we have identified the baseline record with ablfly on that record eval was 85. So this is in fact becoming our base variable. So this 85 should be populated on all the records of diabp for subject 1001 which is happening here and similarly uh, here the baseline flag y is present on the record for sysbp and has a value of 130 so this should be populated on all the records again there can be different approaches between uh, uh, based on the requirement some people only populate base also on the records where it they are considered as post baseline but adam allows us to populate based on the sponsor specific logic so here i am choosing to populate base variable in all the records even even do even the records which are prior to treatment start date which is acceptable and again if you want to populate base variable only on the records where uh, which are considered as baseline and post baseline you can choose to populate that way so now similarly base dt and bnr ind are populated 
so now we will try to see how to convert this into macro so we have seen what are the macro parameters earlier so now i am creating a macro named create ablfl base pass so with the values of parameters of ndsn or dsn filter condition by wires last dot source wires and base wires so here i am initializing a few of the macro uh, parameter values so for example if i do not pass any filter condition so this is creation of the macro and then the after creating the macro we will use it in subsequent steps so when you are defining the macro you can specify some pre-specified values so here what i am giving the pre-specified filter condition uh, is missing less than ADT less than or is equal to TRT SDT and eval not is equal to missing so what happens if I do not specify the filter condition parameter when calling the macro is that it will use this default value provided in the filter condition similar is the case for by wires u sub jd param cd and adt if i do not specify any uh, set of va variables during the call of the macro it will consider this as the this one uh, by variables so again if you have majority of the data set which share a common thing so if you want to keep the macro call short so you can specify the most commonly required uh, parameters in the macro creation itself so that you do not need to explicitly specify these macro parameters during the macro call so here in the next step what i'm trying to do here is so here i am passing whatever source variables which i want to associate it with the base variables so for example here i am i want to create a variable named base dt using the value of adt present on the record where ablfl is equal to y i am creating it as base dt and similarly for base so we know that the value present on the record where ablfl is equal to y in eval variable would be populated as base so i am creating these two variables as base wares based on the source wares so this is the logic so i am counting here how many number of source variable values have been specified separated by space so if i am passing only these two this would resolve resolve to two so we'll have a macro variable named source where count created with the value of two when we pass two variables if we pass say for example adt eval and uh, eval c so this would get resolved to three so we'll see how this will be used in next steps and then so again i am making use of the same open code based logic so we am specifying the input data set and out of which i am creating base 01 by sorting the data set based on the variable specified in the by wires macro variable and then and also create subsetting the records which are eligible and after that again i am sorting my base 01 based on the by variable specified and then filtering the records based on last dot whichever is the value specified in last dot parameter by default it is param cd so it is it gets resolved as if last dot param cd so and then i am keeping only the variables which are specified in the by variables along with that ablfl which we are creating in the next line here and then all the variables which are specified in base wires so base wires here so here i am using a macro do loop to create some assignment statements which we were creating here so here we created this assignment statement say for example for eval we wanted to create a variable called base for adt we were we are interested in creating base tt and anr and we were interested in creating bnr and so here we have three statements so this can this may vary from data set to data set so i am creating this using conditional logic based on the values provided in source wires and base wires and when calling the macro i should ensure that these are equal in numbers and the variables are specified in parallel say for example the first variable if it is adt the associated base variable has to be specified here and if we switch or uh, specify the variables wrongly the values would come wrong so if we specify three variables here it has to be three parallel variables associated with those source variables so here what is what we are trying to do here is we are looping this one 
based on the number of variables we have specified in sourceware. So if we pass ADT and eval, so this gets resolved sourceware count as two. So on the sourceware, so this gets iterated twice. So on the first iteration, what it does is it fetches the value present in baseware's, so which is base DT. So and then base DT, the, the scan macro scan function is being used, and the value from this macro parameter would the first word will be extracted, which is base DT. And on the right hand side, I am using the percent scan function, extracting the first word from source verse parameter. So which is our base DT is equal to ADT would be generated with this logic. When the second time it is being iterated, so what would happen? A statement which is called base is equal to eval would be created. So as we need this because this number of lines which will be present in a data set varies. So I am using a dynamic uh, approach to create these lines of code. And then the next step is like uh, to populate baseline flag. We will be merging our baseline flag based on the y variable specified and we will only keep the ablfl variable when populating the ablfl and in the next step when populating the baseline related variables we will be keeping only subject param cd and then all the baseline variables which we need say for example here in the open source code when we needed base dt base and bnr ind so we kept only the variables which are the baseline variables along with usubcd and paramcd. Same approach we are using and replacing that concept with base vars and then merging it with this and creating a data set named outdsn. So let us compile this macro and then see and use in the next step we will use it in a live data scenario. So here if you see vs01 is our input data set which has our ADT created and then I am creating an output data set named VS02M. So VS02 was created with open code for baseline and baseline variables. So VS02M is being created with uh, our macro which we have just created. And then on the filter condition I am specifying missing less than ADT less than or is equal to TRTSDT and eval not is equal to missing. And then by variables I am using use of JD, param CD and ADT and then last dot param cd and here I am creating three variables ADT, eval, ANR, AND, base DT, base, BNR, AND. So let's run this piece of code and then examine our log. So I have run the code and examined all the lines of log to ensure that there are no un unwanted notes, errors or warnings and then this seems to have run fine. So let's open VS02M and then see if we have all the variables created. So we we were deriving ABLFL, base DT, base and BNR IND. So let us now check if the values derived in VS02 uh, with open code and uh, with the macro call are actually matching or not. So I'm using proc compare code to run it. So if we now see it compared VS02 with VS02M and the number of variables in both the data sets were 12 and 12 and the number of observations were 8 and 8 and both of them matched. So if we see it says number of observations with some compared variables unequal is 0 and number of observations with all compared variables equal is 8. So the key variables we were checking were ABLFL, base DT, base and BNR IND. So all of them are matching here. So let's say if we are just trying to change it to less than and then see if it now matches even now. So I have run the macro with a changed filter condition and then trying to compare it with the data set which we created in open code and with the macro. So if we now see, so there is a difference in uh, the base DT, base and even other variable values also. On the first observation, ABLFL is Y. So let's now try to revert this to less than or is equal to and then see if it matches again. So now again if we see if when we use the same filter condition as in the open code, it matched again. So this is how you can create macro for creating 
baseline flag and baseline variables so again this is kind of core structure for a baseline uh, variable on baseline flagging macro and it you it may need some minor modifications at study specific level based on the analysis requirements so but the core structure remains the same only minor modifications may be needed thank you for watching and keep learning